Boy, look here. Let me tell y'all what happened last night. Look, the work's slowing down at the job I'm on, right? I repeat, the work is slowing down at the job I'm on. So this is what they told us last night. They said, until we tell y'all otherwise, the weekends are canceled. We're, not, we're no longer going to work Saturday. We're no longer going to work Sunday until some more work come in. We will only be working uh, Monday through Friday. And typically on Fridays, we're not going to need everybody. So just expect to get 40 hours. All right, now look, I had got one of my buddies on at this job. Now he was, he was going to come out there, work maybe about four weeks, give him some money and go. So he come out there. The second day my buddy was on the job, they wrote him up. I said, okay, I'll see, how, I'll see what time. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't get treated in no negative light. They, these people, I'm going to be honest. This job, from the supervisor to the safety man to the superintendent, they treat me awesome. I don't have no problem out of nobody. But I noticed they mess with certain guys. So I don't, well, anyway, the new supervisor... If, they, if my buddy was working for any one of them old supervisors, it would have been smooth. The new supervisor just got a hat. He kind of trying to make a name for himself. So he done wrote my buddy up once, got on him twice. So then last night, again, my, my buddy was on the stand four weeks, get him four checks, and he gone. So then last night, like all the other nights, it get cold. He finished his job. Now, this, this supervisor now, he had my buddy working in the shop. He said, oh, since you finished, we got two hours left on the shift. I'm going to take you outside. Now, keep in mind, the temperature has dropped. Listen, put me outside first. When I complete that job, move into the shop. You don't move into the shop and then say we're going outside. My buddy said, well, man, instead of me rolling all my stuff up, going out there, pulling lines, getting set up, he said, it's 1.30, man. I'll just catch out and come tomorrow. This is what he told my buddy. Well, if you're going home, just don't come back to Monday. Don't even worry about working Friday. You know what my buddy said? All right. Got his stuff and left. He gone. He quit. You see, you don't get nowhere by being a company man. He could have just let the man sit on the job for the rest of the night. Everything would have been smooth sailing. So I, 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 I really don't know. This is sad, bro. This is sad. So when I go in tonight, honestly, we might not even work the whole 10 hours we're supposed to work. We might go in and do four, five hours and get on down. Now, again, if this was my only income, I would be in trouble because 40 to 45 hour paycheck ain't too good. But once you come up with that budget, you can make it. So we good. Uh, just wanted to drop that. Sitting outside waiting for my child's bus to come. Catch y'all on the next one.